Hello again and welcome to another in the video series we're doing covering uh, the Acura version 5.30 new features. Um, so what we're going to be um, covering today is some of the new uh, reminder features built into the CRM module. Um, but before I'm going to do that um, I just want to uh, highlight uh, the release notes which um, go out with uh, every version of Acura that we produce. Um, these are painstakingly compiled and edited um, covering all the new features in a reverse chronological order. Um, so starting with the newest going going backwards. So I would urge everybody to have a read through of those. Um, we're only going to highlight a few of the uh, more notable features in these video series so it is worth having a look and seeing how they affect you. Um, many many times we get phone calls and emails from people where behavior in the software has changed and they think it may be a bug in the system but in fact it turns out to be uh, a new feature or a new enhancement uh, which just needs to change the way uh, you go about things. So the release notes can be found on the help menu under what's new and as I say they will go out with uh, every release. So coming back to you today um, we're going to be looking at the reminder features of the calendar. So um, I've got my calendar on screen here which is all new in this release. We covered that in a, in a different video and you'll notice that some of these have uh, reminder icons. So what does that mean? Well there's two kinds of reminder. Um, just go into one of these appointments to show you. So on this first tab we have the set reminder checkbox and the notice period in minutes. This is a reminder for ourselves so this is a little bit like um, Outlook if you've ever used Outlook it will pop up uh, a little reminder window when your appointment is approaching. So this is a reminder for yourself. Um, so we now have that fully built in and automated into the software and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, on the automation tab we have a second type of reminder. This is a reminder for your customer. So uh, it's very useful to be able to send your customer an email reminding him that his appointment is tomorrow or in a few hours or, or whatever it might be. And we can do this by email and we can do it also by text message. And you'll notice this time the reminder notice period is in hours and not minutes. Uh, because usually you want to give the customer a little bit more notice. You're just prompting him so that he's ready for the, um, for the appointment. Uh, whereas the reminder for you is probably geared around when you want to be leaving the office if, if that is what you need to do. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at this in action. So I'm going to create an appointment uh, now. Uh, so let's insert a new appointment. Um, and I'm going to say it's a uh, goodwill appointment. And... Um, we're going there to uh, discuss a credit note, um, discuss a credit, um, because we made some job errors unfortunately. Um, and I'm going to set this appointment for uh, 15.35. Um, and really the whole reason I'm doing that is I want to show you the reminder pop-up window um, in the next few moments. So it's currently uh, uh, 1526 and we're setting it for 1535 with a five minute notice period. So at 1530 we should get a reminder. Okay, so that appointment is now saved and as usual it's going to fire uh, an email to the customer confirming the appointment. Okay. 
so there it is now for the reminder pop-ups to work you must close the calendar and the reason for that is if you were in your calendar you wouldn't really need a reminder so um, you must close the calendar otherwise you won't see the pop-up reminders okay so um, just while we're waiting for that to uh, pop up um, just just going to show you how we set some of this up so um, in our CRM setup menu if we go to activity types um, this is where we define the different kinds of activities that we can perform in CRM so they may be um, appointments they may just be uh, phone calls um, they may be letters we need to write or emails and so on so going into uh, the appointment activity um, this if you like is a set of defaults for an appointment and if I go to the automation tab this is where I can define whether we wish to send um, notifications and reminders and so on um, on the general tab um, we have a bunch of other uh, defaults we can apply and on the templates tab we have the templates that we're going to use for those automated messages um, so in the case of um, confirming the appointment we have a appointment email and here we have whether we're going to send uh, an email or an SMS reminder to the contact and the, per the default uh, notice period for that and here down here we have the uh, templates we're going to use for those reminder uh, messages because we don't really want them popping up to edit them we want them going out as a standard message so that it's all fully automated so um, as I mentioned there's two uh, types of reminder the first one is a reminder for us ourselves and the second is a uh, reminder for the client so how does the magic happen well in the case of our reminders all we need to be doing is running a cura and we just need to be getting on with our business in the normal way whatever we happen to have open whatever we happen to be doing at the time the reminder pop-up window will appear and um, uh, notify us and, and alert us so here it is popped up now um, very like the pop-up reminder window in Outlook if you've ever used Outlook and it just brings up the subject the customer and so on and we can choose to um, snooze um, the uh, reminder so okay yeah I do want this again but send it to me five minutes before the appointment or send it to me one minute before or whatever or we can dismiss this reminder in which case it will never pop up again and if we had more than one reminder popping up at the same time we can dismiss them all at the same time we can also um, manually now send an email reminder to our customer so this is the same as the automated reminder for customers but this is you actually sending it manually right now um, and so or the same thing with an SMS so if I click on that um, you'll see it pulls the mobile number of the customer it pulls in the reminder template I can preview what it's going to say so good afternoon Trevor just to remind you of your 1535 appointment and so on and then I can actually uh, send that um, to the, the contact and snooze or dismiss my own reminder right now same thing with an email I can fire an email off to the customer right now just to remind him okay so let's dismiss that so that's your internal reminder so how does the magic happen with um, reminders for contacts the automated ones um, well what we do is as part of the Acura installation we install a, a service which we've called Alertmon so Alertmon uh, sits there in the background looking at all your activities looking at which ones need reminders and then acting um, accordingly so you don't need to worry about that it's just going to sit there doing its thing 
um, it runs on your server so it's it's policing the whole network for all users okay so you don't need to install anything on your own uh, PC uh, for this to function okay so um, assuming that the automated reminders have kicked in your customer is going to receive something like this uh, a text message all fully personalized reminding him about uh, his appointment with you so this all goes towards making you look even more professional and slick than you already are okay um, so in terms of the setting up of SMS um, Acura has been SMS enabled for some time now so for a long time you have been able to send SMS messages from Acura but it is quite uh, an underused feature so for example if we wanted to send a quick text to a client we can simply right click choose SMS it brings up the window we can type our message in or use a template and then send uh, so it's a very powerful tool we also have automated SMS text when we raise uh, delivery notes so if you wanted to print your delivery notes and then at the same time send SMS messages to those customers that are affected saying we thought you'd like to know your job is now leaving the factory then once again that's going to make you look extremely slick and streamlined uh, as an organization uh, so it's all about keeping the customer in the loop uh, and so on so how do we set all of that up well it's very very straightforward if you go into set up defaults and choose SMS um, we have a range of providers that we work with so the SMS messaging is a web-based solution okay you don't need mobile phones you don't need Bluetooth you don't need cables you don't need phones sat around on your desks it doesn't use your staff's mobile contracts in any way what it does is you subscribe to a provider on the internet one of these providers um, and they will give you an account and with that account you buy uh, credits um, and those credits can range in price according to the different providers so you need to have a look into that and see which one is the best for you these are the ones we support boom bulk SMS Twilio Plivo com API um, some of them are UK based some of them are uh, international uh, global companies so uh, you decide what's the right one for you you basically then buy a bunch of credits and every time you send a text message it uses up one of those credits and when you're running low you buy more credits it's as simple as that so it's a network wide solution you only set this up once and then everybody on the network can use it so it's a very very um, useful tool okay so that basically covers the um, reminder features of CRM so two types of reminder one for yourself which will pop up internally as you're using Acura and one for your customer which will email or SMS text him uh, when the time is right okay so thanks for watching I hope you found that to be uh, useful thank you Thank you.